Hello, welcome to the Thursday, December 27th, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, luckily it has been pretty quiet over this long weekend now. One issue with the Internet Explorer patch that was released last week. Apparently some Lenovo laptops had issues with this patch and would refuse to reboot after this emergency patch was applied. Apparently this affects Lenovo laptops with less than eight gigabytes of RAM. The workaround is to disable secure boot. Of course, this can be a problem if you're using BitLocker. If you do use BitLocker, you also have to go through the recovery process for BitLocker. And our storm center handler stayed busy over this weekend and published a number of different diaries. What I want to point out here is about Bitcoin blacklists. Now, of course, you shouldn't really respond to any ransomware and the like, but these Bitcoin blacklists, they will give you a little bit context if you are seeing Bitcoin addresses being used in various attacks. Of course, this only helps if these addresses are being reused. But at this point, we do see a lot of attacks that do reuse Bit Bitcoin addresses. Now, they may use a large set of them, but quite often a particular address is used in more than one attack. Now, typically, of course, advice is to use long passwords. Well, don't use a long password if you are using a D-Link DIR 816 router. In this particular case, long passwords can actually lead to a buffer overflow. As so often, uh, maximum size for the password is only enforced on the front end in the browser. So a user who can bypass this simple check will be able to submit arbitrary long passwords and then trigger this stack based overflow. No proof of concept available yet, uh, but exploitation looks actually fairly straightforward in this case. So I wouldn't be surprised if someone would come up with one quickly. As usual, of course, you should never ever expose these web-based admin interfaces to the public internet. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.